All right, good morning campers. Here we are. Just getting up here. Um, just finished. I've had a relatively good night's sleep. A little bit cold. I threw another layer on in the middle of the night and I slept a lot better. But I'm inside my uh, my new tent here. This is a Meyer, which I believe is the Amazon brand for 3FUL. Uh, Chinese manufacturer, but they make pretty... I'm, I'm so far. I'm pretty happy with this tent. The stitching seems okay. Um, I'll do. I'll do some. Did some uh, videos from outside. Inside room is adequate. It's not a big tent. It's a. It's a single person tent. But it's what I. You know, I didn't want a really big tent. I wanted a uh, tent that would be uh, keep me relatively warm. It's got these really, uh, really high raised sides. So there's not as much mesh in this tent as you'd have in a uh, a regular tent. Which is what I wanted, because this is uh, this is meant to be in my uh, my shoulder season, into the uh, winter camping season uh, tent. I'll be using this for nights so that it doesn't get below 20 degrees, and I'm actually backpacking. Um, space in it's pretty adequate. I mean, it's not you know it's a single person tent. It's not that big, but um, the mesh is. Uh, I don't see any condensation at all, which I'm pretty happy about. I was uh, though there is a, an adequate amount of of air flow coming up from underneath here to exchange out some of the air so it's uh, it's doing pretty good but being down low like this having these raised walls here keeps if there is any stiff breeze it keeps the direct breeze from getting on you um it's got these pull outs here i really like it helps pull the tent out to give you a little more uh, room inside of it so it's kind of as you can think of like a, as a heightened bathtub sort of uh tent the other thing i did last night which worked out really well for me is i had underneath here I have the uh, a sun shield that you have on your your car uh, front window. Then I have this whole thing here I cut out to uh, keep in there to for where your uh, rear, rear view mirror would go in, so it keeps it uh, fully spaced off the ground. And then I put my blue pad, uh, put my blue pad on top of that. And then on top of that, I've got my Neo Air. And I didn't have any problems from my from uh, being cold from below at night. Actually, with this arrangement, with the because uh, this, what's really nice is this. This arrangement covers almost the entire tent bottom. And then what I do at the other end here is I have under here, I've got, you know, can't see it, but under here, I've got my, uh, where the where the pad doesn't cover, I've got my backpack, because I, li I like to keep my backpack in the tent with me. So I've got the floor pretty much completely covered. And if you do that, you end up with a very, very warm tent, which I'm, uh, I was able, it was like 27 degrees like night last night when I was in here, kind of doing some stuff, getting ready, changing and stuff. I was able to just myself alone raise the temperature of the tent up to about 42 degrees. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, you know, like I said, I'm very, a real strong believer in having uh, having some layers in the bottom of your tent, really giving you uh, making the tent relatively warm, then having the limited ventilation, but not having some ventilation, keep the condensation away. Uh, it's been a pretty good tent. I'll take some I'll take some pictures from the outside, and then we'll. Uh, We'll see. Um, as you can see the outside of the tent, but I'm overall I'm pretty happy with it. This has got a uh, just to give you an idea. It's actually it's actually kind of an A-frame style tent, um, unlike a traditional like a uh, Big Agnes uh, um, tent. It is having a single pole down, single pole coming down and being pulled on both sides. There's actually a pole, uh, an A an A-style frame on the back, a smaller one, and then a bigger one here in the front. So you've got a, it's a, makes it a lot stronger. We were, I was, we got about maybe a quarter inch, maybe half inch of snow last night. And no problem, these really steep sides that you have in this tent, it was shedding the snow wonderfully last night. I had no problems at all with that. So, so far so good with this tent. It's uh, kind of, being in testing, I'm not super duper far from the car. So if it, you know, if this tent failed on me, I would be able to uh, get to the car and figure out something. But, uh, yeah. Wasn't too windy last night, but I've got it staked out really, really well. Um, I'm curious to how to see how this thing does in a real, a real wind, uh, real wind area. But so far, this tent is working pretty good. The one thing is, I really do like in my other videos you've seen. I've got my, my the Fairview one, uh, which is from Big Agnes, and I really like that tent. The problem with that tent is they they made the tent in polyester fly. They didn't make it in in, in nylon fly, which adds about an extra pound of weight to the tent so this tent is made out of nylon and it's about a it's almost a whole pound lighter than that tent for just a little bit more space um 
and I think it's actually a stronger frame. So I'll probably be using this when I'm doing my backpacking. I'll probably relegate the, the Fairview one to uh, maybe when I'm using the sled. Try to lighten up my sled load because it just, you know, as I'm getting older, my knee and my hip are starting to tell me that I'm, I'm getting older. So I need, to, I need to definitely reduce the weight on when I'm, when I'm backpacking. All right, well, I'll take some pictures on the outside. I'll show you guys my little, uh, little campsite here. We're going to do a hike to... Uh, we're here at the Twin Lakes, which is Salina Lake and Indian Lake in the Hoosier National Forest. I'm going to try to do hike to the um, the Bay of uh, Indian uh, Lake. So I'm thinking about maybe trying that as a, as a kayak camping trip maybe in the summertime. But in the winter here, this place is free. There's no cost at all to, to uh, camp here. And I'm outside of uh, deer season, so uh, which is I'm here in February. So it's uh, pretty quiet, relatively quiet. I've only seen one car yesterday i i haven't got out of the tent yet but i don't i would be surprised i'm the only person in the uh in the park this whole day all right we'll see you guys on the trail bye-bye